What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, the JJ Search, coming at you with another video. Jeremy's here finally. Took him um, uh, a couple days to get here, but uh, congratulations to him and the rest of the seniors. Uh, we just got finished with our track day three, Origins. Jeremy's taking it with me. We learned about uh, Jacob, Joseph, Israel. Genesis. Uh, Genesis. <laughs> uh, hey, Sonia. <laughs> There's Sonia. <laughs> uh, I'm about to get some grub. Um, and after that, it's free time. trying to attack, the enemy's trying to deafen our ears or to close our eyes. In the powerful name of Jesus, enemy be cast out. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Protect your children, Jesus. Speak to us. Amen. Um, Ricky and I are co-leaders and we lead the Greek Life Small Group at Dearborn. Um, and this was something that was new in this past fall. One of the things that was great we learned about at Greek Conference was the difference between assimilating So we went over the story of Jesus and the tax collect eating with the tax collectors and sinners, and the Pharisees kind of standing far off, being shocked that he was eating with them. And kind of applying that to Greek life is the tax collectors were assimilating to the sinful life, and they were they were giving in to that. Um, and the Pharisees, on the other hand, were standing back and say, and they were alienating themselves. They weren't a part of the culture at all. Um, and Jesus was that perfect in between alienation and assimilation, where he was able to be a part of the culture but not assimilate to a culture. And how he calls us as Greek students and even in your own lives to not assimilate and not alienate, but to just be that perfect in between. It was a it was a long year, I will say that and we had um, three recommitments, two of them which were from our so my sorority. It's been crazy and I've loved everything. So, um, my second CFW was last year's Camp Harvard. Um, until then, I had not really thought about being a leader, really, because I've been too busy and like trying to do two majors, and I didn't think I had time to find out anything. So I'm like, and I can go that route, just go to a large group, and my own small group, and I'll be fine. Yeah. Basically, I'm not part of Greek life, but I was able to be blessed by being surrounded by these Greek people and understanding what they're going through and understand how I can minister to them. And I've grown really close to each and every one of them. For me, the biggest thing that I got out of my small group, me and Sydney's small group, this past semester was we were going through the book of David, King David, and they met with Mrs. Um, from her Greek conference, she got a little booklet that, that gave us a guide to how to do it. And I don't know if you guys were in a small group where this one dude, don't remember his name, um, he taught how, he spoke about how to pray. And he said, like, first he starts with by putting God on his, like, pedestal, kind of setting the stage for God. Um, and then, like, seeing that what he has, saying what he's done before and that he can continue to do it. And that's kind of. 
going through that passage with my small group, going through David and understanding all the struggles he's gone through, all the human life things, things I can relate to personally, because David was human, he had flaws, he had um, great things about him, and God always worked with him. I was able to use that in my prayer, and it's made me feel way more confident in my prayer life, and being able to pray in a small group, and at the end of a small group, and to be able to pray for friends and everything like that. So that's the biggest thing I've got in my small group, as well as the new relationship. Uh, end of day three, it's uh, around 1 a.m. Uh, all the guys are, well, not all the guys, but like a bunch of the guys are here. Hey, hey Sean. Uh, anyways, um, a lot of things happening today. Uh, <laughs> uh, the seniors came in. Uh, say hi to Jeremy. Met up with some uh, prayer partners, Jeremy, Deontay, Ricky. And uh, here's a clip of us, uh, well, some of the guys um, building a pyramid. So I hope you guys uh, enjoy it. Uh, men's group right now, our mission is to build a man pyramid. So uh, let's see how we do it. <laughs> we want this to be a bonding experience, and we just love this community so much. We pray that no one gets hurt, and uh, we just pray we have fun and grow in peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 <laughs> Instant regret, dude. <laughs> Instant regret. Any comments? <laughs> you know, the top's not bad. <laughs> Like they, I don't know what they were doing. Christian men's group trying to form a Tower of Babel. Come on. And we keep freaking messing up. Stop with One. Action. I saw 14 million Collapse, just get down one at a time. 
Watch out. Enjoy that pyramid. It was uh, it was fun to watch. Hashtag whatever it takes. Anyways, this is the JJ Surge signing out. Thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and hashtag subscribe. Sake, but for Jesus' sake. All right. <laughs>